Hey, uh, back again to try and do a video on replacing this choke cable right here. And the reason why is it it's real loose. So when I pull it on and fire it up, just the vibration of the four-wheeler itself causes this thing just to slowly slide back down before it actually warms up. So I constantly have to pull back on it and hold it. And sometimes I even have to put a little pair of vice grips right here just to hold it up. Uh, so I bought another uh, cable. It's just uh, one I got off of eBay and it's Chinese made. So I'm not real thrilled with it. But I did notice something with it uh, when I was looking at it just a little while ago. It actually has uh, detents in the shaft with a spring right up under here and a ball bearing that holds it in three specific positions. I brought the cable out and I hooked it up to the old carburetor. And you can see one of the detents right there in the uh sorry for the focus in the shaft of the cable and what i wanted to show you is if you look right here when i move this thing you can see the actual openings positions i should say open positions and that's fully closed. And then you're opening the choke up. So anyway, that's the way this cable works. Now that I've got one. And I'll see if I can show you how that is hooked up. So it goes in right there. And then the cable is secured by that clamp. And then, of course, the rest of it will run on up to the front of the machine. First thing I want to do is take that side panel off. So I have a few of these little, uh, I don't even know what you call them, little things that hold the the panel on and there are two pieces an inner piece and an outer piece and the inner piece pushes in and spreads it out to hold it in place so there's probably a tool made specifically for these but what I found is if I just take a screwdriver and stick it there's a, a little lip on these things just kind of pull that thing up if I can Anyway, I try to pull it out where I can get a grip with the pliers and then it pulls out. So anyway, it looks like that. Uh, this piece right here, when it pushes in, it spreads, keeps that spread out so that the whole thing stays on. First thing I'm going to do is take the cable uh, loose from the front and it's got a 17 millimeter plastic uh, nut, if you want to call it that, on the bottom here. And once you loosen that up, just screw it down a little bit. And on this particular quad, I know you probably can't see it because of these cables, but there's a slot right here that you can just pull that out. So that's the way it's connected right there. Just through a slot and then you screw this 
up, tighten it up, I should say. And it's a 17 millimeter wrench. My next step is I'm going to remove the left hand side panel as well. And also, I'm going to take this breather tube. It's like a snorkel that comes out of your breather box. I'm just going to take it off. And the reason for that is the cable is connected on this side. Here's the clamp that's holding it to the side of the carburetor. And then it goes on down and hooks into the choke lever. Uh, I want to try and give myself as much room as possible so that I can get that cable out. And that's one of the reasons I took it uh, loose from the front to begin with, is to give me more access to the cable. Of course, I need to get in there and start I'm loosening things yes. as well. But Take the clamp off the side here of the carburetor that's holding the cable tight. So I'll just, so Phillips screw, it doesn't have to come all the way out. You just loosen it up. And I'm going to go ahead and remove, now I'm trying to decide if I want to remove this uh, air hose or not, but I think I'm going to leave it because the cable is out of the clamp and I've got a pretty, I've got a pretty good bit of slack in it right now. And if you hold that lever up, it might be able to come on out and it does, it's out. So what I did is there's a black plastic choke lever. I pushed it up to give me more room. There's a slot in there that the cable has to slide through. So the cable is off the carburetor now. I just need to fish it on out the other side and put the other one in. All right, the new cable's been fished through there. It took absolutely no time whatsoever to get that run through. Uh, the next part is connecting it to the carburetor. So I'm gonna let the camera run. Hopefully I won't knock it over, but I'll see what I can do about connecting this to the carburetor. I know you can't see this too well from a top view like that. The main thing I want to do is get that in piece into the plastic choke part, which I need to get some needle nose pliers That's in. It didn't. It didn't take too much trouble. Next thing I need to do is, if I can. Of course, I'm laying my tools everywhere but where I need them. I need to tighten that little clamp down. All right, clamps on, cables in. Next step will be to put it up at the top and function test it. New cable is in. Here it is. And you have those strong 
the strong feel of the detents. All right, and then that's it operating where you can close the choke or open it. And now comes the fun part, putting that air snorkel back on and the side panels. Side panels aren't too bad. That little breather tube, uh, seems like I recall that's kind of a pain, but uh, I think I can get it. And right there, right there, that's the hole that the little plastic panel holder pops down into to hold the air breather in place, or the breather tube in its place. And it connects in right there to the breather box. Okay, I ran and got the keys. I've got everything back on, panels on. That uh, breather tube was a little bit of a pain. I was able to lift the tank up just a little bit to work under there uh, without actually taking the tank off. It's just a little hard. I had to put it in one piece at a time. First piece I had to fish through the hole, get it in there, and then I could put the lock pin in afterwards. And it just took a little bit of time because you're having to use needle nose pliers to get up in there and push that little thing down in there. So I have not fired this machine up in a while. Uh, it's been several months actually so I went and got, grabbed the keys got a green light I just put a battery in it I don't know four months ago I think let's see what it does pull that choke home I used to cut and rev it like that because when I'd rev it, it would make the choke slide off. So at least now it's choke's holding. Of course, it's pretty warm out here already, but it's doing a whole lot better than it did. We'll see how long this, oh, come on. Uh, still cold natured. I opened it up a little bit, gave it a little more oxygen. Anyway, it seems to be running fine. Uh, here's the old cable that I took off. We're gonna leave it at that. I don't wanna fill this shed up with too much exhaust. <laughs> 